Well, Nuno, a nil-nil draw, a replay to come, but what did you make of it tonight? Uh, we expect a tough match. Uh, we knew that uh, Bristol City is a, is a good team, especially playing at home, uh, how they play. Um, I think we improved from the second, for the second half. First half was not so good, even though we had a, a good chance uh, with the nil was a clear one. Um, but in second half, I think we control, we control the game, we dominate, uh, we didn't allow it any chances, we kept a clean sheet, what is important for us, it's, it's very important, and we couldn't solve it today. Uh, we had um, situations that we should and I think we could do better in the, in the final pass, in the cross, in the finishing. Um, you mentioned the first half, they had a lot of possession, didn't they? You know, they sort of controlled the ball for, for long periods. Yeah, it was, we were struggling to, to get our pressure right. Um, we were not able to, to jump in the right moments, so we allowed a little, a bit, a little bit more of possession that, um, that we, we should. But uh, even though they didn't create too many, too many situations, I think it uh, was a good performance in terms of we were composed, we were mature, we controlled the game in that, in that aspect, and um, this is improvement for us. Yeah, and, and we've spoken before about that clean sheet, and you've, yeah. you've got that tonight. And as you say, Matt Turner's I mean, he's taken a couple of crosses, but I don't think he's really had a save to make, has he? Nothing, nothing, nothing. That's a, it's a good sign for us as a team that uh, we didn't allow any situations. It's a sign that we defend well, we were organised, we reacted well to the loss of the ball. Uh, so the boys work hard. Um, the only but is that we didn't finish a day, that we have to play one more game. It's not uh, something that we look for because we have a busy schedule. But um, this is the FA Cup. This is the FA Cup, so let's try and finish the job uh, at the city ground. Uh, one real high point tonight is the ability for you to call on Morgan Gibbs-White. So finally, one of your injured players is, is at least back in and he made a difference, didn't he, second half? Of course. Uh, Morgan is an is important player for us. The way the way he moves in the pitch, the, he finds the space. He has this pass. Um, definitely, it's important to recover all the players that we have out. It's, it's too many. It's too many. We need them. Um, hopefully, for the next one, we will recover someone else that can give us a, a help because uh, the team needs the team needs solution, needs options to fresh legs because it's a busy schedule. Uh, once again, it was good to. to to attack in the second part because our fans were there and the boost that they give us, we cannot thank them enough because till the end everybody was feeling that uh, you were on top of the game and their, their support was, was, was fantastic. Thought they'd see a goal in front of them because yeah. uh, Callum hudson Adoy put through by Morgan Gibbs-White, yeah. thought that was in. Yeah, everybody was, was seeing going inside. But um, if I have to analyse, I think we should have done better in the, in the final touch, the way we cross, the way we, we, we deliver the ball, uh, something that we, we're going to work on and try to improve. And a few days now, get ready for Arsenal. Yeah, let's go back to, to Nottingham, recover the play, as I mentioned to you before now, is what is important is the recovery, um, so the players are, are fit and well to, to face Arsenal.